So, a little bit about treatment for so-called psychosis. What can we do with people who have these very strong ideas that are limiting their quality of life? Okay, let's take the example of feeling that you're being surveyed, that you're being surveyed by the FBI or somebody, some kind of agency that have placed cameras and microphones everywhere. First, I would say, look at the person's life. If this is a person who means nothing to anybody, that should be the point of attack first. You know, I try to give this person something to do, something valuable to do, that he means something for somebody, even if it's just a cat, or a turtle, or even some plants. That could help. If a person has absolutely no function, nobody cares if he gets up or sleeps the whole day, he, he means nothing to anybody, he doesn't visit his family, he doesn't have any contact with anybody. That's where you should put in the focus first. You know, don't take away their coping mechanism before life is a little bit better. Okay, this person needs to feel important, he needs to fill his days with something, and this could be trying to um, not be be surveyed that much or, or uh, thinking that uh, somebody thinks he's so important that, that they're going to survey him. So don't take away the, the comforting thought before you've done something with a person's life. And my research shows that just befriending, that means having somebody come to your place, uh, be like a normal friend, talk to you, go out on, uh, and eat something together, go to the cinema together. This works wonders against so-called psychosis. And no wonder, because suddenly you have a life. Suddenly you have something interesting to do, and you have a, maybe a purpose. So making videos about your experience could be something that is very pur purposeful. And I would encourage everybody who hears voices to make videos in a way, in this normalizing way that I say, it's, it's just my... my um, thoughts that have a little bit sound on them or maybe it's spirits or, or whatever make videos about your experience maybe that could be your your meaning making right so so to have some meaning in your life small job a pet that you take care of go and 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 get a stray dog or a stray cat and give this this being a worthy life how about that how about that? So, and then you can start working on the so-called delusion. And the way to do it is, or one way to do it, is so-called behavioral experiments. This sounds fancy, but it's not really that fancy. It's just trying to find out if it is so. For instance, if you think that there are, that you're being surveyed, okay, I would say, make an experiment or do something about it. I would say look everywhere, but decide in advance that if you don't find anything. If you don't find anything, you can think maybe you have jumped to conclusions a little bit. Maybe they're not really uh, surveying you. You can also, um, so, so the experiment would be to look, 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 look very carefully in every corner, everywhere you could, you could have microphones or, or cameras you look but you decide in advance that if you not don't find anything you're going to accept that they're not really surveying you another thing you could do is to be very systematic about finding out why you think this uh, for instance you could put up a list FBI is surveying me put a line and then you put all the counter arguments you're willing to have some counter arguments say I've never done anything criminal I've never had any actual proof of this, I just think it is so. Uh, many of my friends have done worse things and they, they don't think they're being surveyed. All kinds of ideas, be creative about counter ideas. What would other people say? Well, what have other people said to you? Okay, if you see a list of 15 counter arguments and just a vague, I think they're surveying me, you could be willing to say that, no, Maybe not, maybe not. You don't have to be sure that they're not. 
Maybe not, but let me go in and see if I can find a, a stray cat and, and give this cat a life. Because I need something, I need somebody to care about, and I need to do something with my life. I need to be meaning, have meaningful life. Maybe I can go in and uh, call my family. Maybe they want me to visit them. They haven't talked to me in a long time. Maybe. But I, actually, I would think that the cat idea, stray cat idea, is a little bit better. You never know about humans, they are so difficult. So, get a life. Or if you have somebody that you want to help, help this person to get a life, get the meaning in their life, and then you can work on the weird ideas. But they are probably having them, just like we have wishful dreams at night, they are probably having them to compensate for the emptiness. And it makes them relatively stable to have these things, so don't take away the thing that makes them stable. Do something first positively for them and then you can work on slowly slowly getting them to what we call consensus reality which might not be true maybe we are all being surveyed who knows there are cameras everywhere in towns mm, the, uh, the, this agency was uh, surveying all kinds of calls it was true in a way it was the paranoid people who were right right and then maybe were careful what what they said on the phone so who are we to say that their reality is not correct? So, but my point is, help the person to get a meaningful life first. And then a lot of these things will actually go away by themselves. They will go away by themselves. And the voices, not a big deal. Some people like this uh, Australian um, attorney, he was so interested in spiritual things that he was so happy when he finally got clear audience he started hearing voices and he said it was from the other side and it could be it could be why not people from all cultures think that they have contact with the other side and a few people in the north in america scandinavia think that oh no no this is not scientifically proven so we're not going to believe in it hmm but they are the freaks. Most of the world think that you can have contact with the other side. So, who are psychologists and psychiatrists to say that this is crazy and drug it away? That's crazy. That's what's crazy. Now, I was going to say that um, if anybody wants to have contact with me, I'll put up my email address. I love to get emails. Uh, I get the comments, but it's easier to, to uh, contact me on email. And actually, one of those people who contacted me, I, I gave him therapy for free. He was in America, he couldn't afford it, and uh, he was on a lot of medication, and we got him off it, and uh, used a very simple technique called Three Good Things. He wrote, wrote down every day three good things that had happened to him, and super simple technique, but it has proven so effective with so many of my patients. So he got okay, and he got back to, to work, and now he's working full time. So, free therapy for those who can't afford it. Those who can afford it, I would like to get paid a little bit, but that's not the point. I want to help. So if some of you really uh, feel that I could help them, please write me a message and maybe, maybe we can do something. Okay, have a good day.